Where do you encounter self-contained people? This man can do everything himself. He living it. So he's like God saying, I'm about to hand you the world. Just know at any given time, I can take it away from you. Well, there is a new documentary about the artist formerly known as Kanye West that will hit theaters this week and then Netflix next week. Gene Yus, a Kanye trilogy, contains more than 300 hours of footage from over a 20-year span. Joining us this morning are the co-directors, uh, Kudi Simmons and Chike Osa. Gentlemen, welcome. Nice to have you with us today. Man, thanks for having us, man. You know, you know, I used to watch Bozo and Soul Train on WGN. So that's I'm right. Happy to be here. <laughs> that's right. I, I I like to think that that's what launched your careers as filmmakers, the high quality <laughs> programming that we brought you here on WGN back in the day. You know, you know. <laughs> so, so I mean, how do you even get access to all of this? Is this an authorized, uh, you know, sort of biography or documentary? Did Kanye and his people work with you on this, or is this something that you worked independently on? Well, it, it was an independent project um, because it started 21 years ago um, when Kanye was just a producer. Um, you know, I was doing stand-up comedy in Chicago. Uh, Bernie Mac was actually my, my mentor and uh, brought me through the ranks. And then I started a TV show called Channel Zero where I was the host. And then I fell in love with the response we was getting on public access that I started, you know, shooting myself. And then I ran into Kanye and seeing how charismatic he was and how, you know, how he loved the camera. And there's a, a documentary, Hoop Dreams, which is a Chicago story as well. Uh, Steve James, the directed that I was like, I'm gonna do a Hoop Dreams on Kanye. So when Kanye moved to New York and started placing beats with Jay-Z, I was like, oh man, I got, we got to keep this idea going. So I hit Kanye like, yo, I'm gonna come to New York and we going and I'm gonna film you and document your 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 rise to, to fame. And he was like, please, you know, he always wanted to be on Channel Zero. And uh, and he, you know, I used to take him around in the source truck with his mixtape with him and Mickey Halstead did it in Chicago. So, you know, it was an independent thing that I started 21 years ago, two in 2000. Yeah, GK, why do you think that he gave you so much unprecedented access? He's you know, so famously private now and uh, you know, do, doesn't let cameras into the inner circle anymore. Why do you think you guys... Uh, I, mean, I think it's, just, it's, 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 it's mainly Cootie. I think it's the relationship that they just build together. Um, Cootie, Cootie's a very genuine person. I think it's also a testament to just what Cootie brings out in people. He brings out the best in them. Um, and so I think, you know, Cootie is just over this year, it's just, they've developed their friendship, especially back in the, you know, early 2000 when, when they embarked on this journey together. So what did you uh, learn? What do you, what do you think people are going to be most surprised to see a, a new perception of Kanye uh, Kuti in uh, this documentary? I mean, I, like Chige said, my camera represents empathy. So they definitely will see the real Kanye that I know. It's almost like when you, you know, you see somebody on TV and through the media, but then you don't never see them like, at their breakfast table with their family, two different people at a lot of times. So, you know, I think that people, and also what they would, what they would be surprised and learn is that this movie is not about Kanye. It's not about me. It's about everybody has an inner genius, and we just give you the blueprint to discovering your inner genius and moving on that faith. You know, I always say that that God writes and Jesus direct. You know, me and Chike. So. That, that I think that's going to be the main surprise that people are going to be like, oh, so I can do this, I can believe in myself, and I can speak something into fruition? Bet. That's going to be the main thing that get out of this. Yeah, Chike, is this, uh, I mean, are, are we going to see the music making process? Are we going to see his uh, family life? Are we going to see, you know, things like that included in this? Yeah, you'll see, you'll see uh, excerpts of, of several of those things. You know, we couldn't go down the rabbit holes. Of course, there's a lot of footage that didn't make this once we decided what our storyline was and what the journey we were going to take you on. So there's actually like, there's so many gems of, of Cootie in the studio where Kanye is just making a beat. You, you know, um, a lot of that did hit the cutting room floor, but you'll get glimpses into these processes um, in a multitude of just seeing Kanye in different lights that you haven't seen him in before. And uh, what projects are you guys working on now? Or, I mean, will there be more Kanye West? Are you planning on, on doing other projects as well? 
Well, actually, we're doing a, um, a documentary on, the, on, the, on the, the late, great Ernie Barnes, the painter who painted uh, the Sugar Shack for Marvin Gaye, and he also did the paints for J.J. on Good Times. But I document him painting Kanye's uh, painting, uh, uh, Life Restored. Okay. And that will be be next next up. So you will see that you will see his process and how he and how he even painted that in the right. unveiling and you know his life as a football player. So yeah, Ernie Barnes. And, we're and for this. We are we're going to look for this on Netflix February 16th. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.